Meet the new largest star in the universe, Red Hypergiant WOHG64 and Stevenson 218, the previous holder of the record. You may ask the obvious question, why isn't it the other way around? Well, being an astronomer involves measuring the sizes and other parameters of unfathomably distant objects, which comes with some level of uncertainty due to various equipment limitations or calculation errors. The distance of Stevenson to 18 has been stated to have a relative uncertainty greater than 50%. Its size of 2150 solar radii could possibly be an overestimation due to the calculation method used and the fact that the limit for star size predicted by stellar evolutionary theory is estimated to only be roughly one and a half thousand solar radii. Luminosity estimates for the star are uncertain as well. The first calculation gave it a relative modest luminosity of 90,000 suns. The latest one gave the star a very high luminosity of nearly 630,000 suns. But the stellar association is spread over a large area, with Stevenson 218 blending into its immediate surroundings, which makes the astronomer's job even harder than it is. These estimates are under the limit for stable red supergiants, making it very unlikely to be the largest known star. Various issues exist in determining the accurate radii of the largest stars, which in many cases do display significant errors. First, stellar radii or diameters are usually derived only approximately using astronomic laws for the deduced stellar luminosity and surface temperature. Second, Stellar distances and their errors, for most stars, remain uncertain or poorly determined. Third, many supergiant stars have extended atmospheres, which can significantly change in size over time, regularly or irregularly, pulsating over several months or years, as variable stars. And many stars are within opaque dust shells, making their true temperatures and surfaces highly uncertain. Fourth, most distance estimates for red supergiants come from stellar cluster or association membership, because it is difficult to calculate accurate distances for red supergiants that are not part of any cluster or association. This factor exactly applies to Stevenson to 18. So, the reality should look like this, with WOHG64 being the largest known star in the universe, with the radius of 1540 solar radii and a luminosity around 282,000 times the solar luminosity, which fits the theoretical limit for star size and is consistent with many other large red hypergiant stars found elsewhere. In the past, the characteristics of WOHG64 have changed quite often. It was speculated that the size of the star could reach a whopping 3000 solar radii and a luminosity of 600,000 suns, but it was decided that these parameters were too extreme. The distance of WOHG64 is calculated to be around 160,000 light years away from Earth in the Large Magellanic Cloud Satellite Galaxy. Also, if placed at the center of the solar system, the star's photosphere would engulf the orbit of Earth, Mars and even Jupiter. In the end, measuring the size of the larger stars is an extremely difficult task, which requires precise measurements and efficient tools to get a relatively small margin of error.